Chapter 3 AM Stop flamming the story preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks, Egan Raven. Oh yeah, BTW, I don't own this or the lyrics for good tralot. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding and I listened to some GC. I painted my nails black and put on TONS of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood so I was ready to go to a concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish and a little eyeliner. Hey, and a lot of cool boys wear it, okay? Hi, Draco. I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony. He said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666. And flew to the place with the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold, you're covered in blood. They're all so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom. She sets you free into this life. Joel. I don't own the lyrics to that song! Joel is so king hot! I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you. I said. Really? Asked Draco sensitively as he put his arm around me all protective. Really? I said. Besides. I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff! I fucking hate that little bitch! I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got DC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes-Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into... The Forbidden Forest!